As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to dominate worldwide headlines, some politicians have been making allegations and pinning the blame on China, calling Wuhan the origin of the coronavirus. But could it be the case that a city which first reported a virus becomes the origin of the virus? Tuesday, we reported that we had confirmed two cases of influenza. 2009 H1N1 influenza first reported in the U.S. Does it mean the U.S. was the origin of H1N1? Nature Medicine published a research paper about the proximal origin of the virus that caused COVID-19 on March 17th. Asked by ABC News whether the virus originated in the Wuhan market, Robert F. Gary. Co-author of the study said this. Evidence also shows cases outside China emerged earlier than previously known. Giuseppe Ramuzzi, a researcher in Italy, told U.S. National Public Radio that strange pneumonia cases appeared in Italy as early as last November. Which could mean the virus was circulating in parts of Italy before the outbreak in China, according to the U.S. media. Bellevue Mayor Michael Malham has tested positive for COVID-19 antibodies. He believes he contracted the virus in November, over one month before China first reported its initial cases. International Journal of Antimicrobial Agents published a research paper on May 3rd. Saying that the virus which causes COVID-19 was already spreading in France in late December 2019, USA Today reported in May that 171 people in Florida showed symptoms of COVID-19 as early as in January, and none reported traveling to China. It came much earlier, and was beginning to spread long before we recognized it. You know, it looks just like influenza, and so. This was influenza season, and nobody noticed that we had a new virus. I'm not entirely sure. I think this virus was here easily in January, maybe even before then. The difficulty of tracing the origin of the virus is exactly why COVID-19 was so named. Some of the principles are that the name of the disease should not be about a geographic area, a city, a person. Or an animal, and it should not stigmatize anybody, and it should be easy to pronounce. It should not be confused with many other names, and there should be a logic. Many say the origin of the virus is a serious scientific matter, which should be studied by scientists and medical experts, and not by politicians. No politicizing. No need to use COVID to score political points. If we care about our people, if we care about our citizens, please work across party lines, across ideology, across beliefs, across any differences for that matter. We need to behave. That's how we can defeat this virus.